Okay, so I will open up my terminal real quick and I will cd into my project directory. So docs exchange Ethereum. Now I will use NVM to change my node version to 8.11.4. Now I will execute the Ganache CLI. So the Ganache working. Now in the other tab, I will cd again into my project directory. Now we will change the version again. And now I will run try full test. So this is going to execute the test cases. And we can see some activity on the left hand side uh, Ganache tab. So the nine tests have been passed. So I will recompile my code using npm run recompile. This is uh, compiling our smart contracts and converting them into an artifact. So now everything is cool and I will do npm run start. Now this is going to start server on the version port 3000. And we, the Ganache generated uh, private keys for us. So I'm quickly going to save it in the text editor. And uh, it's running on port. Yeah, okay. So this is about verify login. These are pages. Now I'm using Metamask extension and connected to my local host. I'll quickly put in the password and I'm in. So these are my old accounts. So I'm deleting that. And now I quickly add two accounts into my Metamask extension. So we paste this to account four and this we copy and paste. And say this is account three. So now I will refresh and we see it's the same account three. So we log in and these are documents tape. I go to profile and quickly make a new profile, put in my name, email, description, and I will create a verifier account. I will charge 20 12 as a piece and save. Now the Metamax will create a transaction in the blockchain and we quickly confirm it. So let it do and boom this image is hosted at ipfs and we log out we can see the transactions and there you go so we log out now and we're gonna change our account to account for and then we go to login page and we'll do a refresh so there we go so we have same key as the account for we log in and i'm gonna quickly create a profile as a requester so I created a requester profile. So let's add an image. This is hosted on IPFS. And this is gonna generate a transaction in the blockchain. So we're gonna verify and confirm it again. And yeah, so I will go to documents. Let's cut this up. Uh, transaction, you see the transaction happening in the blockchain. So here are the documents. I add a document, I write my name, description I want to verify my BS degree so the verifier I will choose for mail and I upload the image of my degree and this is gonna create a transaction again in the blockchain so let's quickly wait for it to verify and we confirm it so we have one pending document we create another one so the same thing and let's call it my second BS degree okay so the same verifier and the there we go. So we confirm it again. There you go. So we have two pending documents. So there you, go. you can see now these are hosted at IPFS again. As you can see, okay, the URL is IPFS. Now we log out and then we log in as the verifier. So that's account three. We log in and you can see now we have two pending documents. I will quickly view it and I will do a verify. This is going to create a transaction in the blockchain again and we quickly confirm it. So everything verify, rejection and, and adding is, is as a transaction. So this document, I will just simply reject it. So again, a new transaction. So everything is like stored in the ledger of the blockchain. So we confirm it. So we have one verified, one rejected, and let's log out and log in as a requester. So I need to change my account to account four, and I uh, forgot I need to do a refresh. Okay, so 
account for. Log in, do a refresh, and that's the same one, and we log in. So in the documents, I see one is verified, one is rejected, and these both are hosted on IPFS. So now I'm gonna look, go to the transaction. You can see all the transaction. Let's log out. So as general public, I come here, put your document hash to verify, and the status is verified. Now, okay, copy. Okay, so we have we don't have the rejection one. So let's go log in again to to get the hash of. Uh, Rejected. So go. We open both. Close and there we go. The rejected hash. So I copy it. I go again as a general public. I paste the hash and it's rejected. So this is was our document exchange verification system using Ethereum and IPFS. Thank you for watching.